We're gonna become an AI powered chef today and try to get ChatGPT to create cool new recipes from whatever ingredients we have available in our refrigerator. We're also gonna prompt it to come up with cool names for the dishes, so like highly creative, unusual names that might stick out on a menu. And then we're gonna do some AI art generation through Midjourney and take our new creative dish and try to get a cool image of it to see how it would actually look. So we're gonna start by going to ChatGPT and you go to openai.com, you can go try ChatGPT, and we're gonna say, come up with a recipe for a new meal based on the following ingredients and come up with a creative name for the meal. Okay, and then we're gonna do a semicolon and then we'll go shift enter so we can go down and get more space and we're gonna list out our ingredients. So we'll say steak, and then we'll go waffles, um, let's try ice cream, and then let's do uh, sprinkles, let's say mustard, kind of nasty. Um, let's try bread, and let's say, um, I don't know, cereal. Okay, and let's see what comes out. So we're gonna hit enter. And now, recipe name, steak and waffle sundae. Ingredients, one pound of steak, four waffles, two cups of vanilla ice cream, quarter cup of sprinkles, quarter cup of mustard, two slices of bread, one cup of cereal, any kind. Instructions, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Season the steak with salt and pepper and cook it to your desired level of doneness. Medium rare is recommended. While the steak is cooking, toast the waffles in the toaster until crispy. Once the steak is cooked, let it rest for a few minutes before slicing it into thin strips. Spread the mustard on one slice of the bread and place it on a baking sheet. Toast the bread in the oven for a few minutes until it is crispy. In a bowl, mix the ice cream and sprinkles together until well combined. To assemble the sundae, start by placing a waffle on the bottom of a bowl and add a layer of sliced steak on top of the waffle, followed by a layer of the ice cream and sprinkle mixture. Repeat the layers until you have used all the ingredients, ending with a layer of ice cream and sprinkles on top. Crush the cereal into small pieces and sprinkle it on top of the ice cream and sprinkles layer. Serve the steak and waffle sundae with the toasted mustard bread on the side. Enjoy the sweet and savory flavors of this unique dish, perfect for any meal of the day. So I'm happy to put the mustard bread on the side because that would be really, really nasty otherwise. So we're gonna try it in mid journey now. We're gonna take this entire description of steak and waffle sundae, or maybe our prompt and prompt mid journey and see what kind of cool images it comes up with. So we're gonna head over to midjourney.com and you do need to make a Discord account. They're completely free, it's very easy to do. And we're gonna go back into actual midjourney because it automatically just went to that. But when you go on midjourney.com, it looks like this. So you can click on join the beta and then it'll kind of prompt you along to get access to their server. Because pretty much they have a server and on Discord you write in your prompts and then it hits the mid-journey server, generates the images, takes a few seconds or a minute and then shoots it back to you in the message board. So let's wait for it to load. And meanwhile, we will get our prompt. So let's see this. And then we'll add steak and waffle sundae somewhere in there. So it kind of understands what we're talking about. So we're gonna go into mid journey. We're gonna go to the communities, mid journey. And then you can generate images in one of these newbie rooms. So we're gonna click on newbies 128. And we do pay a few dollars a month for the subscription. I believe it's like 10 or $12 a month. Um, I believe they limited the free trials after the whole uh, random AI art generation hit the news. And then there was kind of like stops because Donald Trump going to prison and things like that. So, uh, so in the messages, you're gonna type in forward slash imagine, like imagine this, and then you could hit space. And then we're gonna copy and paste in our entire prompt and we'll see what we get at first. And we're gonna edit it right now. Come up with a recipe for a new meal based on the following ingredients. Let's say this. This used to be called steak and waffle Sunday, so we'll just write steak and waffle Sunday with the following ingredients. Okay, and then we'll go. We'll do a semicolon. And we'll go steak, and then we'll go comma waffles, just so it knows that we have to separate everything. Okay, mustard, bread, cereal. Okay, and then we'll go minus minus sign V5, V space five. That's how you get version five of Mid Journey, which is their most advanced version. And we're gonna try to get something super cool. So in the front, actually, we're gonna type in hyper-realistic. 
Um, okay, and let's see what we get. We're gonna hit enter, and now it's gonna generate. All right, so it's been about a minute and we just got our new pictures for our steak and waffle sundae. And it looks pretty weird. <laughs> Here we go, here's four different variations. So you got the waffle, you got the steak on top, the ice cream. I don't really see the mustard bread. Maybe we should have specified, put the mustard bread on the side. But honestly, <laughs> it looks kind of nasty. It definitely got the medium rare part of the steak right. And it has the ice cream and sprinkles on top. So there you have it. That's how you generate random recipes with ChatGPT. I would definitely have some fun with it if I were you. Try out some new ideas. If you're thinking about what to do and you're kind of bored on the weekend, come up with a cool recipe. Maybe do it with your friends, your family, or your kids, and have some fun with AI. This is AI with Oliver. Thanks for watching. More prompts coming soon.